Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm excited to bring you guys my course overview of the Meta Backend Professional Certificate offered by Coursera and Meta. So this course released by Meta and Coursera was actually released only a couple months ago, and they really targeted people who are brand new to the space, to development, looking to change over industries or just get started in development without any background experience. With that being said, though, in this video, I'm going to give you guys a complete overview of the course itself. We're going to start off with the job outlook of developers right now. We're going to look into the cost of the course. We're going to look into the course content and what you guys can expect to learn. And then lastly, we'll go over a couple of different things that you can expect after taking this course. Now, I want to thank Coursera for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in taking this course whatsoever, go ahead and use the link in the description below. It'll take you directly to the Coursera website to this back-end development course. In addition to that, I also made a video for the Meta Front-End Developer Professional Certificate. So if you're also interested in checking out the front-end version of this course, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below as well. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and hop into the video. So first off, let's talk about the job outlook for a developer position. Now, as of right now, the market is gonna be extremely hot for developer jobs. Development jobs are looking to increase by 22% by 2030. In addition to that, in 2020, there were over 1.8 million developer jobs within the US alone. Now, what those two stats tell me is that development jobs right now are in extremely high demand and they're not going to go anywhere anytime soon. So if you're interested in taking this course and looking to switch over industries, I think right now would be a great time to do so. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and talk about how much this course costs. Now, just like the other Coursera courses, this is going to be based off of a monthly subscription. So it's just going to depend on how long you take to complete the entire course. So it's going to be $49 per month for the course. So if you take one month to complete the entire course, it'll be $49. If you take three months or so to complete the entire course, it'll be around $150. On Coursera's website, it does say that the average time to complete the entire course is around eight months or so. And that's what's studying for around six hours per week. Now, the great benefit with Coursera courses is the fact that they're completely online. So you're going to have a lot of flexibility when taking this course. So you can move it around your own current schedule, uh, whether you're working full time, part time or in school. All right. So now that we know how much this course costs, let's go ahead and talk about what exactly you'll learn within the course. So this certificate is comprised of 10 different courses spanning over a variety of different subjects within back end development. And to be honest, guys, out of all the certificates that I've taken from Coursera in the past and reviewed, I think this certificate and also the front end development certificate are going to be one of the most in-depth and thorough certificates that I've ever seen Coursera offer. Now, within each of these 10 different courses, you'll have videos, readings, you can take notes throughout the entire course. And at the end, you'll have a mini capstone project that you can use to really practice your skills. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into my computer and see exactly what these 10 courses offer. The first course is going to be called Introduction to Backend Development. This is pretty much where they're going to give you a brief overview of what exactly it entails to be a backend developer and what you need to know. Course number two is called Programming in Python. This is where you'll learn basic programming with Python, um, exactly how to solve issues within Python as well. Course number three is version control. This is going to be where you learn how to navigate GitHub and how to communicate and, and work alongside other developers when working on a project. Course number four is databases. This is going to be one of the more interesting courses, in my opinion. It's pretty much going to teach you how to navigate MySQL and learn how to build out SQL queries. Number five is Django Web Framework. This is pretty much going to learn how to use Django to build web interfaces, UI, um, stuff like that. Course number six is pretty much all about APIs, how to process it, um, how the frameworks work, how the APIs work, everything involving APIs. Course number seven is the full stack. This is where you'll learn how to use Django to build a full stack application. Uh, course number eight is also interesting. It's the cloud computing section. Um, this is where you'll learn how to use different systems within the cloud. Uh, course number nine is back end developer capstone. This is where the project comes in place where you'll learn how to build out a full web application using all the skills that you learned from the previous courses. Course number 10, this is one of the more interesting ones as well. Similar to the front end developer certificate, uh, this one also offers the coding interview preparation. Uh, this is pretty much where they walk you through a realistic coding interview um, and exactly how you need to prepare for that. Um, you can also use different skills that you've learned within the course to, to talk about within the interview. You'll also be able to use your capstone project as a way to build out your portfolio and really show what you've learned throughout the entire course. 
Now that we know exactly what to expect within these 10 different courses, let's go ahead and talk about a couple of different technical skills that you'll learn throughout this entire course. As a result of this course, you'll have a basic understanding of Python, how to program in Python, how to solve different issues in Python as well. Um, and you'll have a basic understanding of Python in general. The reason why I bring this up is because Python is probably one of the most popular coding languages to learn right now, and you can use it for a bunch of different things. Now, the next skill that stood out to me was probably learning how to use MySQL and how to craft different SQL queries. MySQL and SQL are gonna be important skills to have even outside of a development position. If you're looking for a role within data, like a data analyst or a business analyst, SQL and MySQL are gonna be really important skills to have under your belt. Now, the last two courses that stood out to me was probably the Capstone Project and also the technical interview preparation. Now, the Capstone Project is gonna be an excellent opportunity for you to really practice the skills that you learned throughout the entire course. But in addition to that, you can also use this capstone project as a way to build out your portfolio and really be able to demonstrate and explain the skills that you've learned within a technical interview. And this last part of the course is something that I've never seen before within any other Coursera or course in general. This is going to give you an opportunity to practice your interviewing skills and to see if you're able to clearly explain exactly what you've learned, exactly what you know, and what you can do for an organization. But to pretty much sum it all up, guys, if you're interested in taking this course whatsoever, go ahead and click the link in the description below. It'll take you directly to the Coursera website. But if you're someone who is looking to switch industries and make your way into development, I think this course is a great starting point for you. You have an excellent baseline knowledge of exactly what entails being a back-end developer. With that being said, though, guys, thank you for watching the video. Go ahead and leave me a like for the YouTube algorithm. And also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.